All right. Today's guest is known as the glutathione guy. His name is Dr. Nayan Patel. He's an American pharmacist and entrepreneur. Um, he launched Central Drugs in 1996, the family owned and operated um, company, and now one of the leading and fastest growing compounding pharmacies in the United States. Um, he frequently lectures around the nation on topics such as hormone replacement therapy, menopause and andropause, osteoporosis, and breast cancer. And as of late, he has become the glutathione guy. He is such an amazing resource on glutathione. I learned so many things on, in this episode I had no idea about with glutathione. So, and it's something that I supplement with. So I got learned. So I hope you guys enjoy learning some things about glutathione that you may not have known. Um, he's very humble. He is a wellness consultant to many, uh, I would say celebrities, uh, leaders, ath pro professional athletes. Um, he doesn't talk about that in the episode, but we talked a little bit offline and I just really appreciate him because he is really just wants to help. And he talks about coming from that angle of being a pharmacist and just trying to think, how can we help people get better? So we're not just constantly putting band-aids on things. So really appreciate him bringing his scientific mind uh, to the, to the table. He has a degree in chemistry and mechanical engineering from California state university and, um, a graduate of the USC school of pharmacy. Um, he serves as a guest lecturer and adjunct professor there as well. So really great guy really breaks it down, makes it easy to understand. I hope you guys get a lot out of this episode. Be sure to check out his book, the glutathione revolution. If that interests you, we'll put a link here and his website is RO wellness. It's a U R O wellness.com. And the same Instagram handle handle is RO wellness. All right, let's get geeky. You guys ready? Let's talk glutathione and find out exactly what it is, how it works in the body and why you want it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, guys, I, if you're not watching on YouTube, whoop, they wrote me a little letter that just fell out of this book, but if you're not watching on YouTube, I'm holding up a book right now and it's called the glutathione revolution, fight disease, slow aging and increase energy with the master antioxidant by Nayan Patel, who we have here today. And so, man, I'm just so excited. I was actually creeping through your Instagram and saw that Tony Robbins had given you uh, a testimonial for helping him and his wife with their health. And, you know, I, I already just from talking to you before we got started, I can see that your energy is, I just want to help as much as possible. And so I'm excited to have you uh, practice your skills of taking difficult concepts and making them easy to understand for our audience today. And I thought I'd start off just straight up. I think most people have heard of glutathione. They're like, oh yeah, it's really powerful antioxidant, the master antioxidant, and that's pretty much all they know. So uh, let's start with that one. What is glutathione and from your perspective? So Exactly. So people know about antioxidant, but the way it works is, is defined based on what it does and not what it is. So let's just talk about what it does. It is a master antioxidant, uh, and we'll go about the mother of antioxidants at, at, a, at a second part two, but the part one is master antioxidant, the body produces abundantly to keep our body safe from oxidative stress, which is a big word again, I'll, uh, I'll make it easier. Uh, we're exposed to chemicals and pollutions on a daily basis that, that generate uh, uh, toxic species inside of a body that needs to be neutralized. And the body produces glutathione to keep our body clean and safe at all times. That's why it's, that's why it's called the master, master antioxidant. But it's called the mother of all antioxidants because it's it takes all the other antioxidants that are not produced by humans, like vitamin C that you take from, from the food sources, and it, help, it helps potentiate the effects of those antioxidants as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, just, it's not, glutathione to me is, is, is like, like a typical mother, not selfish at all, doesn't want all the glory. Hey, if you're an antioxidant doing the job for the human body, let me help you become a better person of yourself. Yeah. And so that's why it's called the mother of all antioxidants because it helps potentiates the effects of all the antioxidants. Mm, thank you. Okay. I'm, I just, as you were talking, I was like, oh my gosh. Also, I just want to know, you know, you discussed that you've been heavily in this research for the last, what'd you say? 15, 13 years, 13 plus years. 13 plus years. Why glutathione? How did this happen? Well, it's, it, it is because it is the most abundantly produced by human bodies. And that thing is, we don't have enough of it. Yeah, uh, let's talk about that. Why? We don't have even enough of it. So there's always, in my back of my mind as a pharmacist, I'm always looking for solutions 
that solves the problem. Keep in mind, today we fill, I fill over 3,000 different medications at my pharmacy. I'm, I'm still a working pharmacist. And I fill 3,000 prescriptions on a, on a regular basis. And guess what? Nothing treats the problem. Only thing it does is manages the problem. Right. I don't want a, I don't want a disease management. I want a disease treatment plan. And so the best thing I can do is, can I empower my body to defend for all its, own, uh, its, its own problems? To do that, I had to make sure that I, uh, in all my research, that glutathione is the most key ingredient that I need to make sure that we have abundant of it mm. at all times. I don't care if you are a 20-year-old person or you are a 120-year-old person. You're going to need this in your body, optimize at all times to keep your body clean and safe and fully functional at all times. So what is contributing to the low glutathione levels? Ooh. So where do I begin, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the easiest one is as we age, our enzymes in our body starts diminishing down. So our production of the glutathione is not that much. Well, it's, it starts dropping slowly. It's, mm -hmm. it's, not like you, it's not like menopause where you, where you have all the hormones and the next day you have no hormones in your right? It's like a right. decline. It's not like that. It's a gradual decline over time. And, and that's, that's okay because, you know, uh, nobody wants to live here forever. But if you think <laughs> that we want to live here forever in the healthiest stage as possible. Yes. And, to, and so the gradual decline is not a big issue. But the biggest problem is that, that we have, we're exposed to modern day environment and mm -hmm. modern day stresses. Yes. Those those are are cumulatively uh, depleting or are using up all of our uh, all our reserves of glutathione. Mm -hmm. We are exposed to sunlight, which we cannot avoid. That we need that part, but then uh, we're exposed to chemicals that we have never heard of. It. We are in California. Thank God that we have we have a list of chemicals that we are known to be toxic. That we have a list on every bottle that we purchase, so that's a, that's yeah. a good sign. But not the rest of the world doesn't have what we have in California today, and so knowing those chemicals are going to be key, so that we we know if our exposure is there, the body has to neutralize those chemicals and the neutral that 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 process that it takes to neutralize those chemicals comes from glutathione, comes in the liver, and yeah. so so all these modern day stressors. I mean, we, we have we just been using everything Wi-Fi today, right? Everything that we know is, is yeah. digital. The digital environment is, is so untapped. It's not studied yet, but it's definitely putting pressure on our human body because yeah. uh, we don't know how much of this electric magnetic waves is creating uh, oxygen species inside our body. I know there's a research right. in California today. That, that, that I know of, that they're working on this thing, and the results are crazy mm -hmm. for me to share because it's not published yet. But if I know what I know today before it gets published, I want everybody to, to, to understand that nobody is free of oxygen stress. Nobody. Yeah. Yeah. We all have it, and we need to, we need to optimize glutathione to have a fighting chance on living healthy. Yeah. Uh, this is how I look at biohacking or health <laughs> optimization or whatever word you want to put on it. It's like, look at our lifestyles. Do they look even remotely close to us living out in a village, connecting with others every day and eating foods from fertile soil and like all of sun, you know, healthy amounts of sunlight and clean water? No, no, our lives do not look like that at all. And so for me, it's just, we're trying to mimic nature and the, like, so supplementing glutathione, which I do every day, it's, it's a way to combat this unnatural environment that I actually like. I like my modern day lifestyle. I like my little shelter. I like my Wi-Fi. I, you know, I like having a car. I like all of these conveniences. And so how do we mitigate all of these unnatural environments that we're in? And that's, I mean, basically what you're saying here, you're like, let's go after the big hitter, you know, the big hitter. And that's what I want to ask you too. Um, you talked about glutathione being this mother and she, helping with so many, in so many different ways. So what, what does glutathione help with in the body? So, I mean, what doesn't it help with, but <laughs> well, well, if I can even bring it down to simple terms, right? For example, when you're exposed to sun, uh, mm. everybody burns a different rate. 
So yeah. it's not because of uh, it's one part is the, the skin barrier. So if you're lighter pigmentations, then you burn faster than if you're darker pigmentation. But regardless, you do get burnt. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, everybody gets burned a little bit. That sunlight will, will increase your oxygen stress in your body. When I say oxygen stress, oxygen itself when you breathe is, is not um, uh, what you would call it. It's, it's not neutral. It is, it's reactive, right? Yeah. Simple, yeah. if you expose to iron to oxygen, what, what happens is rust. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's So it's, it's not like, plus we, but we cannot live without oxygen. We need oxygen to bring the energy into a body. The body will use up the energy, neutralize all the excess uh, uh, oxygen molecules and the body becomes clean again. That neutralization process, the, the supercharged electrons gets neutralized by making sure the glutathione can donate Part of his, part of his energy to the oxygen mm -hmm. and getting it neutralized. So that's one aspect. The second aspect is we eat uh, food every day. We call it so-called food, right? Uh, but then, for think about, it, we also drink solvent. Solvent in in the chemistry world is toxic, right? Right. Alcohol is the biggest solvent there is, and right. we drink that knowingly that is not good for us, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, people in the red wine industry will probably uh, kill me if I say that part, but Hey, you know what? That's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about red wine or the, or the polyphenols. I'm talking about mm -hmm. alcohol itself. Is yeah. That alcohol get needs to be neutralized because we all know the effects of alcohol can cause intoxications and acetaldehyde that gets in your brain. Right. Needs to be neutralized. That neutralization process, the glutathione will, I'm going to use another big word, will conjugate, will, will attach this the, to this molecule mm -hmm. and, and neutralize it so your body can get rid of it. Yes. If it doesn't get rid of it, sometimes a, a molecule can stay in your body for, for days, hours, weeks, months, and sometimes years, right? Yeah. If you're exposed, if you're exposed to heavy metals, you know, you can have years of, mm -hmm. of, of body staying with this heavy metals inside your body. And later we found out that 30 years later, that, oh my God, what you exposed to 30 years ago in, the, in, in, the, in this industry was is actually causing cancers today, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so if you're exposed to, like we say, if you're exposed to asbestos 30 years ago, let us know we can fight for you. See? Mm -hmm. I mean, things like that. Some, so some chemicals will stay in your body for long periods of time. Glutathione yeah. helps get rid of all those chemicals one by one at, at a different rate. Everything is a different, it, it, there's a rate of excretion for all these molecules, but glutathione will help in all these different processes. And one thing we, we, we don't talk about it, we don't even think about it, is that a body is a giant chemical reaction happening every second. Yeah, yeah. But for, it to for us to function, there's 3,000 plus chemical reactions happening in a body every single day. The, when the reaction happens, there's always a byproduct. Yeah, right. That byproduct is, is a byproduct, is not a good product, right? That's right. a waste. That waste needs to be clean. Right. So who cleans the waste for us? We say, oh, it's the liver. But what helps the liver mm. do this work? Mm. It's the glutathione. So yeah. now when you asked me this question a few minutes ago about why did you work with glutathione? I said, why not? Why am I wasting my time working on some molecule that has a very small effect in your, in your body versus right. one molecule that can clean your whole body from inside out? Yeah, yeah. I love, I love that uh, aspect of getting to the root of like, how do we actually solve the problem? And this is like, I sometimes probably should like not... <laughs> say, but I, I, I think that sometimes with Western medicine, it's just the way of the world, no disrespect there, you know, there is definitely value in Western medicine. And sometimes as a holistic health professional, I'm like, how can you dose out thyroid medication all day, every day and not wonder, I wonder why all these people have hypothyroidism or anxiety yes. and depression and not think, I wonder why so many people have anxiety and depression. And so that resonates with me. It's like, how, how can, what, what is going on? I think that's where your brain, you're like, man, I mean, granted, even my, my audience is going to kill me for saying this, but I was telling a friend who's a health professional the other day. I'm like, 
I think SSRIs have a place in certain conditions if somebody's like freaking suicidal and like is not going to make it to tomorrow. Like, come on now. Like, you know, do I want that chronically for anyone? No, but and as an intervention while they're getting better, you know, I can see that. But what I love that you, you know, in, in you're in pharmacy and you're like, okay, these, I still see that these things can be helpful for people. You know what I mean? We, it's a bridge. And let's also, what is the simplest lever that I could pull internally in the body to help heal a lot of systems is what I'm hearing from you. And glutathione, of course. And so that kind of, I wanted to get into defense against disease. You write about this in your book. Could you yep. talk about, you know, in, in terms of defense against disease or possibly already if you if in disease states why someone might consider glutathione besides the fact of what you just talked about of just you know clearing out waste and things like that how does it help directly with disease so i mean if you think about if you just have to uh, use your favorite search engine and just just type in uh Oxygen stress related diseases. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's like, it's like that's what disease is. It's yeah. just inflammation and oxidative stress, and the body can't heal itself. Yeah. It just can't heal itself. <laughs> and, yeah. and the thing is, and, and when we think about it, glutathione is truly for me is not to treat an active problem while it may help you do so. Yeah. But my thing is that what do I, what, what, what do, I do for myself? Do I wait for it to get a disease and then try to mitigate the problem? <laughs> right. Or can I do something today? Like, like all your all your all your people that works with you are are training. Are they training <laughs> because they have all these problems? Or are they training because they want to stay the way yeah. they are today and not yes. age, right? And yeah. so the key for me is not just keep on doing and waiting for the problems to happen and then try to figure out what's the best solution. I, I want to prevent as much as possible. The word prevent is not something that we should take it lightly. Yeah. Because we eat yes. good food to get good nourishment. And so the body stays healthy to prevent from problems in the future. Right. And yeah. so, but then how do you measure how much good is it helping you today? It's mm -hmm. hard. It's mm -hmm. really hard to measure that part. And so my audience, right. my patients have difficult time. Uh, but when I tell them that, hey, if you have X problem, whatever that, that, uh, that, that issue is, when I talk to the doctors, I can talk to them freely because if they have this condition, use glutathione, and three minutes later, they can do a blood test and the condition is gone. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. mean <laughs> that the problem is gone. It only means that the body is recovering back to homeostasis, mm -hmm. like in equilibrium. Mm -hmm. But now you have to maintain it right. so it doesn't get again. Yeah. Right? And that's, you know, it, you're, it's a completely different way of looking at life and health that, you know, I'm on that same team. And I, there's a lot of us, probably anyone who's listening to this podcast is on that team. So we're preaching to the choir here. But, you know, most of us were raised in the mentality of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep. Right. So people assume we assume that if I don't have some blaring disease, if I don't have cancer, if I don't have some, you know, horrible disease, then I'm good. I'm healthy. Like that's, that's good. And it's like, once you experience another level of health, it yep. changes you forever. You know, I had a health transformation. I have four kids. I was overweight after my fourth and went through this big transformation. And I'm like, I mean, that's why I'm here. Cause I'm like, you can feel like this, like you can be this happy and have this much energy. And like, I didn't even know this was possible. Right. And so that's what you're looking at. It's like, it's a paradigm shift of how good can it be? How great can we feel? Like what is human potential? And even if it's just maintaining, like you're saying, like you're a healthy individual will support yourself in staying a healthy individual so that you don't, you know, like just wait until something gets so bad that it becomes a blaring thing from your body. Exactly. And if, a lot of the doctors will do the same thing. Not, not everybody, but if you're too busy, you're going to say, you know what, it's, I have all the symptoms. I did a blood test. You, the blood test seems to be no, within the range. Uh, so we'll, we'll just wait. Yeah. Wait for what? <laughs> did it get bad? Yeah. Them, or is it? Can you give? Can I provide some solutions for you to to start working towards it? Mm -hmm. But we don't pay doctors. The insurance companies, the healthcare system is right. not paying 
physicians to help mitigate the problems early on. Right. They they only get paid if something's wrong with you. Right. Our healthcare system is so broken and I'm part of my Uh healthcare system. I know what I'm doing every single day. I get people prescriptions where I'm saying that, oh my God, I wish this person came to me maybe a year or maybe six years ago. I would have helped them avoid this problem if they they were just informed. Right. This is what you have to do. And then after that, if it does happen, guess what? The patient takes full responsibility. Hey, I was given the choices. I made the choice. And now I cannot blame anybody else. Right. Myself that, hey, right. it is my choice. And if I want to get out of the situation, I need to do something myself. Right. Not a coach, not a doctor, not a pharmacist. And for sure, not the government to help us out with, yeah. with a bailout. But I need to take responsibility for myself to right. stay healthy. And so yeah. I want people to to read this book for one reason and one reason only is not to just get them wild about glutathione but in in this book i have so many stories that talks about journeys for patients that mm. have come through and the reason that happened is because they took the healthcare into their own hands mm. and so i want yeah. people to do that part be be involved, be involved in your own mm-hmm. health care, because mm-hmm. if not, nobody else is. Yeah, absolutely. I, I always tell my clients, I'm like, I feel like I have to retrain what coaching is um, when my clients come into me, because I'm like, I'm not here to just boss you around and tell you what to do. I'm in this with you and I honor your intuition and the feedback that you're giving me on how you're feeling as you go through different approaches. And my job is to give you all the scientific backing and all the wisdom that I possibly can to be with you along this journey, not tell you exactly what it should be. Now I can give you my recommendations based off experience and education, and it's still your health journey. It is still your, I, I tell them at the end, I'm like, the end of the day, it's your call. And like, if you are getting these intuitive nudges of, I feel like I need to explore breath work. Oh my gosh, let's go. Like, let's explore breath work. Like, please. And, you know, I'm just encouraging them along that journey because we were raised, I think in this mentality of, I literally don't know anything about my body and I don't need to know anything about my body. And my doctor will just tell me what to do. And as we have seen now, you're exactly right. Like the doctors, not only are they not really educated in nutrition, right? Like they have almost no nutrition education, you know, and it, it, I've, I've come to a place where I'm like, okay, I get it. Like it's not, it's kind of not their fault. The system is set up that way. <laughs> and it would be like me going to a record shop and asking them to fix my shoes. Kind of like there's certain things they don't do and don't do, you know, and just recognizing that if you want somebody to be able to take the time, like you're saying to like really sit down and help you, that's kind of a different outlet. And I have to give you kudos. Like that's, I, I love pharmacists because they have like the best understanding of biochemistry. It is so fun to talk to (laughs) pharmacists and like understanding different interactions with hormones and neurotransmitters and the gut, especially if they're like curious ones like that, you know? And so I have to give you kudos for like being like, okay, I got to do something to help here on like the internal level before things get to this place. So thank you for doing that and for simplifying your knowledge. Cause I know it can get really science geeky really fast. (laughs) Anytime. That's what the pharmacists are here for. We are behind the scenes heroes all the time yes because they don't recognize that all prescriptions are written today the doctors are the one writing the prescription but the knowledge comes from the pharmacist yeah yeah i had a client recently where the doctor didn't like the pharmacist had to intervene i i didn't know she had this was um i didn't know she she was doing this separately with like a kind of functional medicine kind of western you know one of those bridge doctors and he had given her a prescription and she's like the pharmacist was like Hey, I got to say something here. Like what, what this is, this is not good. (laughs) Like, I wouldn't recommend doing this to your body, you know? And she's like, I was so grateful to that pharmacist for kind of intervening, you know? So, um, I also had a question about, uh, uh, training, exercise, energy, recovery. Can you hit on that with glutathione? So absolutely. So, you know, we have a lot of athletes as my clients and that's how, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of behind the scenes pharmacist for a lot of physicians. And because of that, we have a lot of physicians and they bring their patients to us. And, and so you, 
Few of them will come in, out in the open and give endorsement, but most of them will not because they want to keep everything private and I really respect the privacy. Mm. But athletes are, are amazing because they're so in tune with the body. Yeah. Right? So even a slight change, they will notice immediately. Right. So when, I, when we work with athletes and absolutely all athletes, when they work really hard, uh, mm. so athletes don't work hard because they like the pain. They work hard because they enjoy the benefits of good health. Yeah. And, and so I want to make sure this is very clear. People don't do crazy things because they enjoy doing it, because they do crazy things because they enjoy the benefits they yes. get from having a proper good health. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so, but, but the thing is, while they're not enjoying exercising, I can relieve that, reduce that burn, reduce that oxidative stress that is created when you're exercising by help of glutathione neutralizing this thing. So if some, if, if an NFL athlete, which is a few of those clients, my clients, if they, if they take it like eight, six to eight hours of recovery after a really heavy workout in the morning, you know, they'll, they'll be doing mm. cold plunging and all the sub massages and lymphatic drainage and they'll rest for six, eight hours. We can, we are able to reduce the recovery time yeah. to half or less by making sure that we can quench all the oxidative species that have been created while you're exercising. Mm -hmm. And so the glutathione is critical in not, it's not a performance enhancement because if you're not increasing your body mass by any means, all we are doing is that when, when you work out so hard, it, when it creates all these byproducts, your body has to get rid of it. You know, the pain yeah. has to be neutralized somehow. So the body and the body cannot produce glutathione on like on the spot, right? It's not like, a, hey, you press a button and body just producing glutathione on its own. It doesn't do <laughs> I wish it could do that, but it doesn't do <laughs> So sometime an, an external source may be beneficial for those, uh, the, uh, those peak times when you need the most. Do you happen to know if there's any considerations? Like I tend to not take antioxidants like right around my training window if I'm trying to build muscle because I kind of want a little bit of an inflammatory response to initiate that repair process. Do you have any advice on that for certain, you know, probably only bodybuilding? I feel like everybody else would want to recover as quickly as possible, but sometimes a little bit of inflammatory response is what I'm waiting for. And then I'll, so I take, I personally take glutathione in the evening to take it. And I train in the morning to help because I wanted to enhance my recovery process as I go into sleep. Do you have any recommendations on anything like that? So it all depends on how fast the glutathione is going to be available to your body. Mm -hmm. So if the glutathione, most actually all the glutathione today in the market, except for this one product that we have mm -hmm. is available to your body within two to four weeks. What? Two yeah. to four weeks? Yes. It's not there immediately. What? And the, the, of, of, if you take an IV glutathione, which is after if you take an intravenous shots of glutathione, that's available to you right away, right? Because it's, it's yeah, in the first stream. Right. But that that glutathione is out of the system in 14 to 15 minutes. Really? So, yes. Yeah, so nothing is staying in the body for long periods of time. And if you take supplementations of glutathione, it is not even available to your body for, for a little bit longer because guess what? Whatever you take by mouth, the glutathione, the body mm -hmm. will break it down into various amino acids. We'll take those amino acids and start to build up the glutathione again. And it oh. takes a while to do that process. Huh. So, it, so it doesn't really matter if you take it after the exercise in the evenings, the next day, because it's not available to you. Interesting. I did not so know that. There, so there, so that's now we understand why I'm so passionate about it because we have yeah. a product that is available to you within 15 minutes. And it stays in the body for four hours. And so that, is, that has been my research for all these times. And because of that available immediately to your body, you can predict the results now, not three weeks from today, today. Wow. So simple, simple example, I, I'm going to get again to, to, to the sun exposure. If you get, if you get sun exposed and you, and you, and you have a little bit of pain on, on your skin because it's just getting burned, yeah. You can apply the glutathione right there and there, and you can see the pain just gone in seconds. Really? That means it is it is neutralizing the 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 oxygen species under your skin immediately. Right. Immediately. Wow. Right. Wow. So 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 that is the result. But but you're right. That's People very exercise, cool. 
people exercise to do to induce stress. To induce stress, when the body's under stress, it builds. It builds better, faster, bigger. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, but then chronic stress is not yeah. good for you because right. it builds up on you. Right. So, so when you, you're absolutely right. So when you're working out, I want you to push as hard as possible right. until until the last breath because the real workout is the last breath, not yes. the, not the one before. Yes. Right? So <laughs> until the last breath, you're going to work out as hard as possible. And once you're done working out, literally in 15 minutes, you can apply the glutathione and quench all the free radicals. Because the workout is done, the body's already under stress, the free radicals that has been created needs to be neutralized. Your body still has inflammatory markers in, into, into your body that is already inflamed. That's, that's going to take its own course, but the byproducts needs to be neutralized. Yeah, yeah. You want a body to go right. into this toxic rage, right? Right, you right. You want to be a little inflamed, and it's okay because that little inflammation will make the body stronger. Right. Better, right? Leaner. Right, but, right. But the byproducts, we can get rid of those byproducts. We don't, we don't need those. Well, that's especially useful for people who are new to the gym and they have this habit where every time they go back to the gym, they take it way too far and then they're so sore that they can't walk or move. And then they develop this really negative relationship with the gym. And no matter how much you try to mindset, help them into like, it's okay, just do gentle. They just keep going to that place. That would be a really helpful tool for those kind of clients to take after the gym so they can neutralize some of those effects afterwards so that they keep going. <laughs> and then, but the I thing was, is, your, your patient, I just, I'm sorry to interject no. you, but you know, your patient, when, when you have your clients, then the first time working out, first time, right. they gain some weight and they have, they have uh, fat ratio is more than a muscle ratio. And so they say, hey, uh, Tara, can you please help me, right? So he said, okay, you see, this is your regimen for workout. And sure enough, it's going to burn the fat. So keep in mind, most toxic chemicals are fat soluble. And so they're stuck in the fat cells. Right. So when you're exercising, right. what is releasing in your body? All those toxic chemicals are getting released. Right. So instead of feeling better, what happens to you? You feel even worse. Yeah. You say, oh, it's the pain alone is not enough, but now they're deal with all this headache. Mental, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so with those toxic chemicals, if they're not being neutralized That's and released great the body, point. Yes. that's what happens. They get recycled. Yes. And, and as soon as they stop exercising, boom, they just gain the weight again immediately. So there is no net benefits of exercising after a while. So what we are telling that when you start exercising for the very first time, start with a glutathione regimen, making sure that you're quenching and you are sequestering all these toxic chemicals yeah. that are about to get released from your yeah. body. And help them get out of it, so that way your workout regimens gets better and better as time goes by. Yeah, and you know you can get healthier and not get sick after six weeks of workout. Yeah, that's a really great point. Even for people who are only doing uh, dieting to lose weight, yes. only using nutrition, they're still releasing toxins as they lose that body fat. And you're right. I mean, anybody who's been through like a big fat loss phase knows exactly what you're talking about because it's right. just like. It's, 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 it's not just low energy from not having as many calories as you used to. You can literally tell that it's something more than that. Like you don't, you just don't feel right. I would say if whenever I've been in like an active fat loss phase, that's a really useful tool for that from both training and nutrition, just anytime you're losing body fat. So thank you for that. Um, let's see. I think I feel like, I had, oh, skin last one. I just wow. want to get on skin. Can you talk about oh skin? Gosh. Uh, so, you know, it's just, it's funny because your skin is exposed to the most when it comes to environmental toxins, right? Right, right. It's supposed to sun, exposed to chemicals. We put, we put uh, you know, it's just like, it's like a habit, right? You go, we put your head out there, get some alcohol, wipe it down. It's supposed to clean your body. But <laughs> alcohol is a solid one and it gets absorbed in your body. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's I mean, we, we expose, by the time you leave the house in the morning, from the wake up to maybe a couple of hours into the into waking up, we are exposed to seventy different chemicals. Seven zero, you know, your body has a big job to right. get it, right. You put your shampoos and the conditioners and the face products. Right. And it doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl. You, you you brush your teeth. I mean, all these chemicals, right? So yeah. when it comes to skin health, 
skin is, is a reflection of what's happening inside our body, right? Unfortunately, it's not a mirror where you get instantaneous results of what you look like. It's a delayed response. Right. It means when the body gets toxic from inside over time, it starts showing up spots and, and blemishes and the skin starts getting worse outside. So I had to make sure that I, I if from what I know about glutathione, I took the same exact technology and I created a whole skincare line because I took all the antioxidants, glutathione, vitamin C, carnosine, DMA, nice. cool. everything, cool. everything. And put into day and night regimen. That's it. Mm. I, I mean, I'm a guy, right? Give a give a guy to design a skincare line and make it extremely simple for you. Um, <laughs> I love that. There's so much toxic. Yeah. Uh, it's just like I can barely stomach seeing some of these commercials when I'm at the gym on the TVs for these skincare products that I'm just like, I just want to face palm. I'm like, why? <laughs> no, please don't fall for this. Don't put that on your face. You know, I, I use only natural things. And I love that you've, I, I will check that out. I love that you've made that. I've even started using like a toothpaste recently. My friend introduced me to that has like vitamins, uh, li liposomal vitamins in the toothpaste. I'm like, ah, oh, it's so yes. smart. And like, why not put these on your skin too? And I guarantee, I guarantee it works better than all this garbage chemical endocrine disruptor yeah. stuff that's out there. So I'll check and that out for sure. The skincare should, should, you should see the results pretty fast, right? Because you, you see right. it with your own naked eyes. Very cool. And, I will and, check and it you, out. Yeah. When you see the results, imagine what's going inside the body. Ah, that's awesome. I mm -hmm. love that. Yeah. So the skincare line can be a teacher. I always say that I'm like, if our bodies were clear, it would look really gross, but man, we'd be way more aware of the choices that we're making. If you could see that's your true. liver or see your kidneys, you'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing, I have an owie. Yes. <laughs> so that skincare line is, is smart. Yeah. It's a visual uh, representative of what's happening inside. I love that. Um, okay. So guys, we are going to link up the show notes uh, to the book. It is, again, if you missed it, it's called The Glutathione Revolution. Um, and also your website is, R is, is it, how do you say it? Auro? Auro? Uh, Auro. Auro Wellness. So it's A-U-R-O wellness.com. Can they find this, all the glutathione and the skincare products and all of that on that website? Yes, they interested? can. But, but you also have a different website too is Auro Skincare. Okay. But the thing is, they're both linked together, so okay. it should be okay. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come on and educating us on glutathione. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm very, I learned something very new today. I had no idea it took glutathione that long to actually work. So anyway, thank you for, for sharing that with us and for taking the time today to come on the show. No, absolutely. I know what glutathione are you using currently? What's that? What glutathione are you using currently? Actually, I have some of yours because your team was so kind to send oh, that out. You. I had been using liposomal glutathione before that. So liposomes doesn't get absorbed in your body at all. Really? At all. Wow. I really liposomal glutathione doesn't get absorbed? No. It takes a it takes a long time. It broke it gets broken into various amino acids. Yeah. And one, of, and one of the amino acids, which is cysteine, gets absorbed. And the cysteine is used to make glutathione back into the body intracellularly. It takes a while. Wow. It takes a while. Wow. Okay. And so, and so my, my quest was to always bring a glutathione in a unadulterated form. Yeah. And make it available instantaneously to your body, which you can use up today, like right now. And so that's what my research was. But when I, when I created this research uh, molecule 13 years ago, I was over the moon, but at the same time, I said, you know what? Uh, it took me 10 years of just doing research before I wrote the book wow. and then released the product afterwards. I, you know, wow. it, it was, everybody would tell me, oh my God, you can sell this product today. Said, no. <laughs> so much respect on that. So I, I'm like literally <laughs> using microbiome labs as like my my holder oh, here yeah, and they're the no, same no. way. Do you know Karan Krishnan? Yes. Do you know those guys? They're amazing. Yeah. He's the same way. You know, I have so much respect for that. It's like taking time to make sure that we're making it as good as possible. Yes. You know, it's just, it's just scientist for microbiome is also uh, from, uh, from India. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> the behind the scenes guy is an Indian guy. Okay. So. Yeah. yeah. I'm obsessed. I was actually just listening to their, um, uh, 
what's it called? A, a webinar this morning. I'm like, ah, oh, I have yeah, to get yeah. off and do client calls. Yeah, they're great. So <laughs> yeah, I really respect that. And um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm well, now I know that I thank you for educating me on that. And I'm absolutely, um, absolutely.